Let's just go through it. And again, I want to come back back to back days because again, yesterday it was one thing to say on the Fed live coverage to buy everything. It's just as important to say, sell some. Uh, so again, you know, some people may not like things that way. They might want to invest from a long-term perspective with a nice little Tiffany box in it. If that's you, that's fine. Just shut this off and own TLT because TLT has been a much better place to be than the U.S. stock market, certainly for the last 15 months. Less volatility, less storytelling. But obviously, uh, those of you who pay for uh, real-time alerts want to engage with the market. You want to trade the market. So again, you can go from buy them here to overbought. So again, all I'm saying there is the risk range. It really has nothing to do with this crystal ball or anything else, the joke that is Wall Street when they're trying to tell you about their forecast. What I'm trying to tell you is that we're at the top end of the risk range, we're at the bottom end of the risk range. As we signaled yesterday, the top end of the risk range for the S&P was 2105, and you actually hit 2105 intraday and then backed off. So again, this is not magic, this is math. And again, there's a big difference between the two. Uh, so I just wanna like quickly get you up to speed on the very basic point of the things that you bought, right on the number, right on the scenario analysis, right on the Fed getting uh, to where they took you. Now, here you are, and no matter where you go, that's where you are, so you have to deal with that.